Hi, this is Julie with Petty John Quilting. Let's look at aligning and skewing a block design to fit a block in this quilt for custom quilting. First, I'm going to select area on my Pro Stitcher tablet, and then I'm going to use the diamond shaped selection on my right handlebar to mark this area. Previously, I resized a block by Christy Dillon that I want to use in this quilt. And I knew my blocks were six inch square or near six inch square. And so that's what I save them as. Now on here, you can see the area that I just marked. Now it's drawn out. So I'm going to go to file and design to choose the design that I want. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but it's Nasus Feather Block 1. So my design came in and what I would like to do is modify it and I want to align it to the center of this block just, just to see how far off it is. It's very, very close, but if I stitched it the way it is there, you can see there would be some parts going out of the area. So skew is a wonderful tool. I'm going to choose skew and on my tablet, I'm going to choose border skew. Now, used to, I always chose skew. For some reason, right now, my Pro Stitcher is not working with skew. I have to use border skew for every skew. But I know that will change when I get another software update and I get to update this. Border skew, look how much better that fits within the lines that I've made. So I now want to go and stitch this into my block. I'll select Pro Stitcher, Quilt, Run, and Proceed. For this quilt, I'm using two block designs for these pink blocks, and I'm alternating them. I want to use this same block and do every other block on this row before I go on to the next block. And I'll tell you why I want to do that. Let's look back up at the tablet again. When I've finished with that block, this is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to select the area and clear it. I still have my design there. The design has all functions that I've used assigned to it, and I assigned it to align to the center of an area and skew to an area. Well, there's no longer an area there. But as soon as I make the next area, these functions will still belong to this design. That means it's going to snap to the center and skew to the next block. 
So let me show you what I'm going to do. On the quilt, I've just finished this one. I'll have a different block design in here. So I'm going to go to this one. So I have my area already selected. I'm going to mark my points for this block. And we don't see that area or the design right at the moment. We could see the design a while ago and the reason we can't see the design now is because it's moved over to that next area. So I'm going to choose my home button and it shows you my new area. And look, that design has already skewed perfectly to that area. I'll go over to the next block. I'll stitch it out. Again, I'll select area, clear. Go to my next block that I want to stitch. Make my marks, ding, 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 ding. It will automatically, the design will automatically skew to that next one. So I think that's really cool that it still holds the functions that it needs for each area. And that's why I don't want to do one design, go do the next design, then go back to this design because this one already has the functions given to it to skew to the next block. That's how you can make your blocks line up perfectly with every block on your quilt. I hope you enjoy skew as much as I do.